I guess like today was a colorism day um, because like all these people are accused of colorism. Hi Kings, what is up everybody? It is your girl Mia Lachey. Welcome to my Chanel. For those of you who are just now finding out about my existence, hi, welcome. I'm your new fave. You just don't know it yet, okay? I am so excited to get into this video and I want to make a small disclaimer. Um, I am talking about Danny Lay, Dana Lay, whatever her name is. Um, but only for a short amount of time just because I feel like she, like, literally, like, she did this for attention and I'm not going to give it to her. Um, she doesn't deserve it, so. Anyway, with that being said, I'm actually gonna be doing my nails. For those of you who want to know, I do my nails with the little nail sticker. It's not, like, actual acrylics, but the little packs from Amazon, the full cover nail things from Amazon. So yeah, that's how I do that. I do not have talking points for this video. This video is just kind of going to be like my thoughts just because this is it just is just one of those things where it's like I have a lot of thoughts going on and I kind of just want to bring it to video. This Danny Lee situation. I'll give a quick rundown for those of you who don't know Danny Lee. She is a singer and she's recently gotten backlash because she decided to put out a quote unquote anthem for her light skinned baddies, is what she said. Long story short, obviously it didn't go over well, um, especially because the song was trash. It was literal trash. Like the song could not have sounded good even if it wanted to. Like, I'm sorry, there's a difference between brown skin girl it's a freaking like the complete difference complete difference part of that basically she's receiving backlash just because uh the song was besides the song being trash and besides me being biased the song literally said yellow bone is what he wants all he wants the part that really irks me in the song she says had to switch it up he had to switch it up now for those of you who don't know danily is dating the baby okay and the baby has a dark skin, um, black baby mama, and she's so beautiful. But anyways, so I'm guessing she's referring to him in the song. Now, obviously, music is uh, what's the word? Interpretive. Obviously, you can interpret music however you're gonna interpret it. But with that being said, um, a lot of people speculated that she was indeed talking about the baby's baby mama. That didn't really go over well, especially since he has a dark skin daughter. So people just were not happy about that situation and rightfully freaking so, okay? Like, literally makes no sense. And honestly, there's nothing wrong. I just want to go ahead and put that out there. There is nothing wrong for there to be an anthem for light skinned women. Granted, on the flip side of things, you do get praised, but there's nothing wrong with you having an anthem of your own. Um, sorry, the one y'all got was trash, though. I'm telling you, there's a difference between brown skin girl. I mean, come on. Come on. So, yeah, there's that. The thing that I hate is when celebrities go under criticism, it's going to come down to their response. And her response was a freaking don't care attitude. Um, she called everybody who wasn't light skin sensitive. I just learn from your mistakes. In the words of Tyra Banks, learn from this. Like, come on. That's really and truly all I'm gonna really say on the situation. I just, not really worth my time. She in general is just 
not even worth my time. I don't got time for the tomfoolery. It is just not my thing in particular, but you know, so it is what it is. On the flip side of all of this, because we're dealing with the scope of colorism, this week Rick Ross also got canceled. He ended up getting canceled all because of a show that he done a while back ago in regards to um, a music competition and he was the host of it and it was for his record company. He was trying to find a girl to sign to his record company. I don't want to say it was between two girls. It was between a lot of people. But the controversy right now is that it's the two girls that are circulating online. The first girl was... The first girl was mediocre, okay? And then the second girl, who was a dark-skinned female, was better. And that's not me saying because she's um, dark-skinned. That's literally me just saying, like, she was better. I have it on my Instagram if you want to go check it out. But it's clear as day she was better. I don't know how else to put that. The whole internet is talking about it because the lighter-skinned female who got it over the darker skinned female, people automatically assumed colorism, even though the darker skinned female was better. I personally did not think it was colorism. Does colorism exist? Yeah. But I did not think that that was colorism. I actually thought that that was just misogynoir, like literally just like toxic masculinity. like. It was a room full of males. They were all looking at that woman's body. Like I said, you can see it on my Instagram. But yeah, Rick Ross even admitted to freaking not being able to sign a chick to his record because he always thought he'd end up smashing her because she looks all good and he's paying for her photo shoots. So he's got to smash a couple times. Like, you don't <laughs> you really don't but i rest my case the part that gets me about all of it is that he was like yeah i gave britney that's the light skin girl's name he's like i gave britney some special treatment you know she looked good we was linking up and i was like he personally didn't uh find the other girl which is uh kaya he didn't find her attractive enough to sign her. And I'm like, okay, but this ain't the flavor of Rick Ross. Like, this is a singing competition. Whoever sounds better wins, right? Yeah, well, no, because it's his competition. So whatever he says goes, right? Now, this next subject that I'm going to get into, um, in case y'all don't know, there is a show called Love Island. And I personally love Love Island. I started watching Love Island as in like Love Island UK. And I fell in love with Love Island Australia, where they call it, instead of calling it Love Island, they call it Larve Island. <laughs> now, for those of you who don't understand what Love Island is, Love Island is basically like a big version of the bachelor does that make sense so it's like a dating competition but with multiple singles the show is very messy though because you can steal somebody's man i think that's what initially got me into watching the show my roommate made me watch it shout out to you monica if you're watching she was like oh you'll love it they get to steal each other's man i said what <laughs> what kind of dating show is this so i tuned in and i fell in love they become america's favorite couple um then you know they win and what do they win you might ask they win fifty thousand dollars now this is the trick of the game which i literally just <sighs> the couple they get a big envelope both of them one envelope has money in it the other envelope ding 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 has nothing so whoever has the money, whether it's the girl or the guy, um, this lets you know if they were in it for love or the game. For instance, if I pick the envelope and I have money in it, then if I love the guy that I'm with, 
then I'll go ahead and split. And so we both walk away with $25,000 because we were in it for love. On this past season of Love Island, there was a couple. Um, I believe it was America's favorite couple because they were my favorite couple and I feel dubbed. I feel duped. I feel speckled <laughs> I'm sorry, that is from Spongebob. We've been duped! Duped! Bamboozled! We've been speckled -orfed. That's not even a word and I agree with you! <sighs> Me and my Spongebob references, it's... It's a sad thing. America's favorite couple was Justine and Caleb. <sighs> now I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna say something. And I'm not trying to make it all about race, but I'm going to say something. On Love Island, the black girls hardly ever get picked. And nonetheless, do they win, okay? I think that was actually the first black couple in Love Island history to win. Now, I have my speculations on that. Um, yes, they were the first black couple, but this is where I'm going to get a bit like speculative and I'm going to be like, hum, hum, hum. I don't believe everything you see. What's happening right now, guys? Hmm? Are we, were, were we not, because this was in the summer, were we not in the whole like Black Lives Matter thing? Yeah, wasn't that a thing? Yeah, y'all remember when people cared about, okay. Um, and then wasn't there, you know, black lives were trending, right? Okay, so just, just my opinion, but I feel like the show wanted to give black people a win to be like, black lives matter. <laughs> we see ya. I've got my speculations, but anyway, we're going to move on because my speculations have no, no earthly comparison to what I'm about to say. Justine and Caleb became America's favorite couple because my girl Justine got done dirty. She got done dirty quite the bit. No guy really was with her like that and some people you could literally tell were just trying to like play the game. Now Granted, when you're on Love Island, yes, you're gonna have fun and everything like that. It's literally like a vacation. Love Island is literally a vacation that you have to fight to stay on. And the longer you stay, the more publicity you get, yada yada, you get it, you get it. Justine constantly got done dirty on Love Island and it killed me. So when Caleb come along, he was the perfect, and I'm not making this colorism, but I know a lot of people are. Um, he was the perfect light-skinned savior, love black women. He immediately wanted Justine. It just really pissed a lot of people off. Not at first, though. At first, we were all like, ah. Now we're like, like, we don't care for Caleb. Caleb was the light-skinned savior who just, like, you know, was all about, like, dark skin, let my melanin queen, da 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 Sweet nothings. Sweet nothings. Well, fast forward. As everything is going on in the show, there is a slight moment where things, oh, they get testy. They get very testy. This part of the show is called Casa Amor. What is Casa Amor? Well, if you know Spanish, you know that stands for House of Live, okay? And Casa Amor is when the boys and the girls are no longer on the island together. They're not in the villa and they get split up. And the girls usually go on a spa day. See, I watch the show too much to where like if I was on the show and they were like, ding, because it's like if you've watched Too Hot to Handle, that's exactly how Love Island operates. I think they're from the same producers because Too Hot to Handle was literally just like Love Island and Love Island came first. So I don't even think that Too Hot to Handle um, copied or don't even think Love Island copied Too Hot to Handle because they did it. But anyways, they get these notifications on their phone and um, 
you know, I would be the type of person that the moment I get a notification is like, ding, you got to spot it. I'd be like, let me get my man. Let me tell him what's up. He better not be with no girls in cast somewhere. <laughs> you know, that's, that's just me though. I'm not crazy or anything. Real note, real note. I don't think I would care because I'm like, okay, if he actually likes me, then I'm not going to have to freaking tell him to stay away from them girls and cast them more. Like, he should just know. And, like, if he does screw up and, you know, I find out that's a problem and we're done. I've never been the type of girl to just stick around for tomfoolery that's just not what I do well I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this part just because we have to get into the actual um meat of what is going on and what's happening but basically just know that for what to watch Wednesday I will go ahead and review Love Island for y'all one day um that way y'all know what you're getting into with Love Island the thing about this is there was this one person on the show his name was Johnny I don't like him either, um, but I loved his girl, Sally. Sally was his girlfriend. Um, Sally and Justine were literally what made the show. Now, this is the part that irks me. A lot of people saw Johnny as the villain, and a lot of people saw Caleb as like this, oh, like <sighs> the halo effect was on Caleb. Let's just say that, okay? And I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm going to say this. I low-key have a respect for Johnny more than I did Caleb and the reason why is because Johnny was his true colors the whole way through. Johnny was a prick and he knew he was a prick and he just stayed being prickish and well we can respect a self-admitting prick. What we can't respect is a liar and a cheater okay he cheated the game not johnny caleb <laughs> see i should have seen it at this point caleb made johnny out to be the villain and mind you caleb and johnny are friends they're like best pals up in the villa yes johnny screwed up and had some relations with a girl in casa more not saying he did he did but Caleb made him out to be the villain and that's his own friend. What? What? They literally made no sense to me. He was trying to convict him and like make him pretty much repent for his sins. Not really. I'm being metaphorical, but that's how it was going. And it was just crazy because a lot of people was on his side and a lot of people were like, yeah, do what he says. Be like Caleb. Now, mind you, Caleb was on a girl. He was on a girl in the villa, or not in the villa, I'm sorry. He was on a girl in Casa Amor. And the thing about this is he didn't really do anything with her. He kind of let it be known to her that he was uh, solid on Justine. Or no, he didn't actually. I thought he let her know that he was solid. No, he didn't let her know he was solid. I think he said that like he might get with her. And so she believed that. Um, that's what it was. Ha ha. See, I'm watching a different version of my head. Then it comes down to it. And he's like, yeah, no, I'm just, I'm solid on my woman. Like I really like her. And like, you just need to leave me alone. So this girl who's like pretty much fighting to be in the villa, she's like, okay, like he just completely switched up on me, but like whatever. So that was pretty much Casa Amor. Now this is where I'm bringing everybody in at here. Fast forward through the show. Caleb and Justine win. Now Justine had the money. Justine shared the money. Justine and Caleb went about their merry way. Now, this is where I get pissed off. I'm the type of person I personally like to follow people outside of shows. Don't ask me why. I'm just a little weird like that, okay? I need to know your life and I need to know your character's life. Going off of that, I'm following them outside of the show and 
on Instagram, I see that uh, they're together during Thanksgiving. I'm like, oh my god, yes, like uh, this beautiful couple. Oh my god, yes, we are winning. Black people, the girls are winning. I see a vlog um, or a picture with her and Caleb. And then I see a, a vlog with her and Caleb. Now, what am I starting to see? I'm starting to see more of Johnny and Sally than I am with Justine and Caleb and that was kind of a problem with me because Johnny and Sully didn't win Caleb and Justine won so I was like god Johnny and Sully seem more solid than Caleb and Justine like what's going on okay I'm not Sully what's going on all right hmm. Hmm. start seeing less and le like there really wasn't much of them I see more of Justine and Sally and I was like oh my god yes this friendship if you watch Love Island USA you would have literally fallen in love with Justine and Sally's friendship. The bathing suit for me. Ah. It's the hair for me. It's them lips for me. What it's else? them syrup thighs for me. What else? It's that large brain for me. What else? It's that booty for me. <laughs> Say it louder. I love you. I love you. This yeah. is couple goals right here. I'm here for it. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do, but it's gonna be fun. So cute literally so cute cute girls cute friendships so cute so to see them hanging out outside of the villa was like yay the girlies are winning like everything is good life is good it is what it should be so we thought so then come to find out caleb and justine broke up and i was like dang you know I really wanted it to work out but I know like sometimes things don't work out so I was like okay okay just you know I'm gonna mind my business it's really none of my business I'm gonna mind my business they're not together just they're just not together like it's fine I wanted Justine to have love but she ain't got it and it's cool she's still beautiful she's fine AF like it's fine it's fine everything's fine everything was not fine so then come to find out it's a whole scandal. It's a whole scandal going on. I'm like, what is going on here? Come to find out, Justine got played. Like, it was not just a breakup. Like, she got played. Apparently, his mom had told people before he went into the show that he was going on a game show and he's playing a part and with that being said of him playing a part it also was told that he had a girlfriend and that she was a part of the scheme and that she was okay with him being with um justine or something like that um as long as he got the money and the clout off of it he's just trifling like he is trifling like those stereotypes you hear about light-skinned men he was the epitome of those stereotypes i was like what bro what yeah so he's like you know capitalizing off of everything that was going on are you okay like if you want us to beat this man we will beat this man we will beat him. We will beat him to a pulp if that's what you would like. We will do that for you. Like, don't you think we won't do it? Because we'll do it. We'll do that for you today. We bought that life, Justine. I'm also the type of person that's like low-key just now finding out that shows um, have a contract on them. I, like... I know when they say like, oh, reality TV is not reality TV. Granted, but I always thought that, you know, I didn't know that there were contracts like, oh, even once you're off the show, you still got to do this, that and the third. I was like, dang, you like what? Do they own you for a little bit? They literally own you for a little bit. Like, that's crazy. That's creepy. And that's weird. Justine still hasn't come out about it. She still hasn't talked about it. Caleb's been going around this world lying and crap. If you want to hear better on this situation, because I personally don't have all the deets, but um, this guy that I do watch, I want to say his name's like Murad Ali. Love him. 
love him like I literally love him he's so funny like y'all think I'm funny he's funny like you are just gonna laugh and have a blast the whole time listening to this man like I was so shocked that I fell in love so hard and so fast for this man but yeah so um go listen to him for more details because he gets into it into it like he has details details he just reviews love island in general my page is not a love island um page my page is a commentary page so i comment on like what's going on in pop culture and stuff like that in the media and stuff like that am i over love island no <laughs> no i'm gonna I'm be tuning in for like next season or whatever i'm gonna tune in or whatever justine if you're watching this dude i love you like I love you so much. You were my favorite on the show right along with your girl, Sully. Like, y'all killed it. Y'all killed it the whole way through. I am going to pretty much just end this video, though. I gotta finish this other hand, but look, this is the finished product. Ooh. We went from looking like a raggedy bitch to a bougie bitch. Raggedy to bougie. Raggedy to bougie. Raggedy to bougie. Raggedy to bougie. <laughs> but why do I do these things? I know this is the finished product um, and it's called Tokyo Lights. Um, if you want more information on what I've done with my nails, um, because I know I didn't like go into detail or anything like that, but if you want more information on that, then um, just, I guess, um, hit me up in the comments below and I'll just go ahead and pop it in the description. Yeah, so since this video is over, go ahead in the comment section below and let me know what you guys thought on the Dana Lee situation, even though she does not deserve our time or the air we breathe in. And then let me know what you thought on the Rick Ross situation, um, just because of the whole colorism aspect. I guess like today was a colorism day um, because like all these people are accused of colorism but yeah um that's all i have for today this is that part of the video where i tell you to like it and subscribe i'm not doing that i'm not your mom if you like me you'll like the video if you love me you'll subscribe it is what it is um with that being said before you guys leave i do just want you all to remember to stay inspired, break the mold, and be unique. And with all that being said, Mimi, love you.